Hi everyone, it's Mr. Pollock here. Uh, I'm going to give you a little tour of one of the programs that we use for numeracy. Now this will be used uh, potentially for homework by certain teachers or it could also be used uh, in the event of any blended learning or any additional classwork uh, that the children might have. So to access some dog, you can either go to the website or you can go on to the app. Now you can download the app for, the I for your iPhone or for your Android. Uh, and then when you've got it, you can just click some dog, enter your details. So I've just created a, a character here. And school. so your children should have the username and the password sent home. Uh, and then the school code is PP school. It'll take me to this homepage now. And it on the homepage, you'll see there's getting to know you. So it's going to ask me 15 questions. Uh, with the questions starting off quite easy and as I progress, if I get questions right, then it will make it harder and if I get questions wrong, it will make it slightly easier. So what I've done now is I've logged into my son's account uh, as he's already been playing it uh, during lockdown and whatever. So you can see here he's got his coins amount, he's got 4,619 coins uh, and he's already done all the, the kind of the questions to start with. So you'll see here it says math training. So if I go to start, he gets different options for different games. Okay, so the games are all different. They're all quite fun. And the children can just work their way along. And the good thing is it works at their level. So the more questions they get right, the harder the questions will get. And the more, the more questions they get wrong, then the easier it will get. So it works at the level they should be at. So when you open up your screen, you have this uh, we avatar here. Now this is your child's person if you like uh, and there's different ways to edit the person so if you go to store down here and you can alter the clothes uh, just click and build there's lots of different options so they can change now most of the things you need to buy uh, but when I say buy it's basically the currency that you earn uh, from completing different tasks in the game okay so you're not actually having to, to pay anything with your credit card or anything like that uh, you'll see there, generic, you can make yourself a, kind of a more female t-shirt or a male t-shirt. And the same with the trousers and skirts. You start off with trousers or a skirt, depending what you want to, what your child wants to have. Uh, so lots of different options to have. If I go to house, it kind of gives me the screen. Now, you'll see here at the top right, we have a rat. Uh, that's what your child always starts off with. That's their rank. Uh, and you'll see here, if I go to see all animals, the more tasks they complete, the more coins they earn, the different ranking, the, uh, the higher ranking they can achieve. Now, the ranking goes basically on uh, the more endangered the animal. Uh, you'll see that they've got the estimated population. So it's basically just to raise awareness of animals that are potentially endangered and a little bit about them. So quite just a wee bit of interest for them. And again, the, depends on the amount of coins they get. You can also edit your pets. You get a pet as well. And you can feed them, I believe, if it's going to work. You can do weights with it. And again, it just gets better. They get more options of things to do. Uh, they kind of further you progress. Change the clothes. You can decorate your room as well. So lots of different things you can do. So like I say, Some Dogs is a really good uh, program that we use. You can just use the website or you can use it as an app on your phone or, or your iPad as well. So again, it's great just for kind of brainstorming and for mental maths. Uh, so try and get your children to use it as much as they can. Uh, and like I say, the more they use it, the more coins they get, which means then they can uh, buy other things on throughout the game. You can also, I meant to say as well, become friends with someone in their class uh, or in the school. So if they just go to the three, it says friends here. There's no friends yet, but if you go to add friends, and then they can add the friends ID. Uh, and that way, they can add the friends and compete against other people. So you can also see who you're competing against. So if I go to start and I choose a game, any game, and you see here, against my friends, if I've got friends. Oh, if i get people, uh, other people in the school, I'm not going to click that because this is on Albie's login, so I don't want to give out people's names. 
and also in the world. So again, against people throughout the world, whoever's got the highest score. So again, you can try and compete with them as well. So a wee bit of competition. So I hope you enjoy that little tour uh, of some dog. If you've got any questions at all, again, just speak to Mrs Wood, who can forward it on to me. Uh, but like I say, it's a good programme to use, uh, especially for mental maths. Okay, thanks very much, and I hope you enjoyed it.